Hey guys, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Today I'm going to take a computer apart and make it into a miner, an altcoin miner, and put it on this frame that I built. So I'll let you follow along as I do this here. And basically I'm going to strip out any non-essential items, meaning CD drives, floppy drives, and the extra hard drive, and strip it down to its bare bones and then strap it onto this frame which is then going into a rack that I've built and we're going to harvest altcoins. Right now I do have a GTX 1050 in here that's been running for uh, 12 hours happily and testing the whole system out. Now that I know it's stable it's time to build up my ring. Okay first we'll take out the graphic card and put it on a protective foil or in a protective foil for the process. This card came in the mail yesterday so it's brand new. I'll set it there for now. Now I'm always touching a case and trying to short myself out or touch metal objects that are grounded to uh, make sure I don't zap anything. Now the next thing is to pull out all of the cables and get them out of my way. The serial ATA cables, that was tight against the back wall there. Okay, remove the power from that. And then the power supply will be going out as well. There's an old floppy drive which we won't be using. And the old, well that's old school CD round drives, those won't be necessary. I'm going to get the cables out of the way though so that I can work better in here. The first thing to do is get all these cables out of the way. Those come out. And then power supply comes out next. So this cooler housing is clamped on in some way. There we go. And I can run that out of there. It's good the cooler was not even warm so the processor wasn't working too hard at all. Now we pull the uh, plug out and then I don't think you're going to see it but I'm going to remove the power supply well maybe you can see it yeah the four screws that hold the power supply in well, this is a pretty decent power supply it came with this computer so I'm pleased to have that especially for the miner. It's not high power, but neither are my graphic cards. So, let's see if I can get this out of here. Okay, there's a nice aftermarket power supply. Uh, what do we got? A 400 watt, which will run everything I need on this rig. For now, it's not a high-end rig. And then next, we take out the motherboard. Now this is a very unusual setup, so I'm going to have to figure something out to get the, the cooler to work on this, because the cooler is part of the frame. With the Dells, you never know how it's going to be. And then there's a front face interface, and there's something with USB ports. Those are going to come out of the way. And then we remove the motherboard. All the screws holding the motherboard down. It's unfortunate. Some of the capacitors in this thing are are popping. I'll have to replace them one day soon. A couple of the capacitors are starting to burst with age. 
typical with an older motherboard like this. There's a lot of screws in the Dell holding it to the motherboard, or holding the motherboard to the case. Now, I'm probably missing something. All right, I'm going to check this and find out what screw I'm missing. There's always something with the Dell. And there it is, guys. With Dell, I've got to take off the uh, processor socket. I want to take this fan out of my way. I can. Four screws that hold it straight through the socket into the case. They like to do that with their computers for some reason. Now I've got screws for these. Or uh, nut, uh, what am I saying? Nuts for these to connect on the bottom of the motherboard. I just went to the hardware store and bought the appropriate size nuts for that. So now this motherboard should come out uh, minus the cooling fan, which is still part of the case. Alright, we'll come back to that. Now the motherboard. Now I don't, I try not to touch the motherboard itself too much with my hands. And that cooler is going to have to come off for me to get this out. Okay. Now that can come out of here. Alright. Oh, there's something I missed. Okay, now, these. get this out of the way. Okay, now I have to put the cooler back on the motherboard. I've got my four little nuts here that'll work. As of this point, I'm going to keep it on the wood base as much as possible. Now, I kept this in order so I can figure out which way it goes back on. It probably makes a difference. Oh, it's outlined. That's convenient. Okay, now, can you still see what I'm doing? Okay. I've got to get those bolts through the holes. Okay. And then on the other side, on the bottom, I've got to put them, the nuts in. To hold them in place. Now, I don't know how much you'll be able to see here. I'm just going to put the screwdriver into a, a screw. And then on the bottom, I'm going to put a, a nut on there. Now, I'm not going to torque these down too hard because we don't want to damage the motherboard. I'm hoping these are the same threads as what I already have. Yes, I was worried for a minute there. Just tighten them down loosely and then I'll tighten them down. Now I don't want to go too tight because we don't want to break anything. 
just about as tight as you would screw the motherboard to the case in a final build. Um, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? Can you see my hands? I can't tell if you can see where I am. Yeah, you can see where I'm at, right? One thing is it's winter and static electricity is high. And that's a scary thing. Actually, I won't need the Leatherman. They're tightening themselves down nicely. Again, I, w I don't want to go too tight. Because we don't want to damage the motherboard by cracking it. Okay, that's good. Now, set this up here. Touch some metal and ground myself again. Always grounding myself out of touching some metal. Okay, now, I'm going to get a paper towel and I'm going to clean that processor off. And I'm going to clean the cooler off. And I'm going to put new uh, thermal paste on there to ensure that it lasts longer and gets better heat conductivity. Okay. I want to put some thermal grease on there. Now I don't want to go wild, I just want to put enough on there to conduct heat. And I want to smear that around. Now this is relatively expensive stuff. This is um, thermal this is Arctic uh, Thermal Compound, Compound MX4, which, by the way, I got off Amazon. If I remember, I'll put the link down below. Um, Arctic Cool. Now, I want to smear that. I hate getting it on my finger, but I want to smear that around evenly onto the processor. I want it to be really evenly distributed on there. Okay. I'll put the rest on it. Uh, wasn't enough there to be worthwhile. Alright, so anyway. Now I'll put that back together in an opposite manner. So it goes under one lip. And then it comes on down. And there's a tab. Let me do it the other way so you can see what I'm doing. It goes down here. There's a tab on the Dell anyway, all right, and then that's on the cooler or on the processor, all right. And then there's these little retainers. You go down inside here and uh, snap in place. I can't believe we've come a long way since the um, the old AMDs that had to be under extreme torque. And if it wasn't, it would uh, burn up in a hurry. And with the chip that would break off the end of it, the corner of it, the chip was exposed. You could break off the corner of it so easily back then. All right, I've got to get this. I've got it on backwards. Get this one in here. Okay, I got it. Good. And that's it. That's on there. Okay. Now. The motherboard, the way I've designed this set, is to have the motherboard hanging on this side and I'm going to zip tie it in, in four positions onto the frame of my mining rig. Okay, So I'm going to get the zip ties out and I'll be right back. Now I'm not going to bore you with the details here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a zip tie here and one here and probably one here. It's going to be awkward because there's no other holes on this side. And then one over here in the corner. So I'll be back in a minute so you don't have to watch me put in the zip ties.